Hi guys, it's Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca and I have some important news if you're studying to become an Azure Administrator. Microsoft announced that as of May 1st, 2019, they're introducing a brand new exam for the Azure Administrator Certification. The AZ-103 exam is a single exam that you take in order to get the Azure Administrator Badge, the Administrator Associate Badge. Previous to May 1st, you had to take two exams. You had to take the AZ-100 and AZ-101 together in order to get that Associate Badge. As of May 1st, it's no more. A single exam, 103, will get you the Azure Associate Badge for Administration. Now, this makes some sense because if you look at the developer side, the developer only requires one badge, one exam to get the uh, Developer Associate Badge as well. So on the developer and the administrator side, one exam, 103 and uh, 203 gets you this valued associate badges. And then if you want to get the architect uh, badge, the expert badge, it requires the two exams. Now, don't panic because if you've already taken the AZ100 exam and passed, Microsoft is going to give you the badge. You do not have to retake any exams if you've already taken the AZ100 and passed it. Uh, if you've taken the AZ-101 but not taken the AZ-100, well, you're going to have to take the uh, AZ-103 exam after May 1st, or you could take the AZ-100 exam before May 1st in order to get that badge. So if you've taken a 101, unfortunately, the most you're going to get out of it is a free coupon to take the 103 exam. But the uh, if you take a 100, no panic, you're going to get the associate badge uh, as long as you passed it. So that's it. Breaking news. As of May 1st, Microsoft is reducing the number of exams. It's going to make it cheaper for people, going to make it easier for people. The 100 uh, exam and the 103 exam are very, very similar. I'm going to do a post comparing the two. But there's only a few topics added to the 103 exam. And so, you know, if you've already studied for the 100, but you don't think you're going to take it before May 1st, because that's about a month away, then... Um, then there's only a little bit more that you have to study to take the 103. But if you're studying to take 100, it might be in your best interest to try to get it done before May 1st, before they retire that exam, so you get that badge, and you don't have to worry about 103 at all. Anyways, I'll keep you posted as soon as I know more. The links to the official Microsoft blog post is in the description of this video um, or attached to this video somehow. So thanks a lot. My name is Scott, softwarearchitect.ca. And again, don't panic, but if you got your AZ-100, you're good. And if, you, if you're going to go get it, go get it quick, because then it'll be AZ-103 after May 1st. Thanks.